Um, I want to show a clip. Really? Well, actually, the trailer and I have uh, our Let's clip mark. We can do both of them. Well, let's, I mean, the trailer's coming in over our sure. I love it. Let's show the trailer of the movie so we can talk about it. Uh, we made this movie. This is the movie you wrote and directed with John John Becker. Let's take a look. Concept. You want to explain? Yeah, you kind of get it a little bit from the yeah. trailer, but the, the gist of it is these five uh, high school kids who live in a horrible, crappy town, <laughs> fictional town, they decide we're going to go make a movie because we can do it, we've got video cameras and anyone can do it. So they go out and they try to make you know, their version of Jackass, but they're, as you can see, they're, they're terrible at it. And they're, they're not fearless, they're not funny, they're kind of nothing. But the trick of our movie is that in the second scene, the the main character is so convinced with his adolescent hubris that their movie is so huge that he gets these three freshman geeks, like from the DV squad, to follow them around with video cameras because he wants the making of, he wants, he, needs, he wants everything documented. I want the DVD extras, we're going to need this when our movie is huge. And what happens is their cameras start to catch, uh, capture glimpses of their lives, which are heartbreaking. And by the end, they realize they have the movie they set out to make is awful, but they have made hopefully a very sweet and touching coming of age movie. You realize, oh, that's the movie that they went out back and re-edited, and that's the movie. Yeah. There's no reason for you to rent it now. I just yeah. That's it. <laughs> you could have just tweeted that out. Yeah, I, yeah, you're done now. Yeah, it was it, it was a it was a really fun movie to make. These kids uh, are phenomenal. The, the cast is they're good, right? Yeah, so, yeah, they're they're all unknown actors and. Um, I'm quite sure that at least two or three of them will have big careers. Big career. they're, they're really good. Yeah, and it's you know so the, the cast and all that. You did a hell of a job as a director because it's, it's a weird thing. It's almost a meta movie making. I mean, you're you're filming these. I mean, you're the conceit is that they are filming it, but obviously you're making it. You're yeah, filming it. it was, and you really yeah. adhere to the the angles and the perspectives, which is amazing because you see, you see people make movies like this and it's like ah oh, they're cheating. That's not. But every shot. Is from one of those kids, yeah. the freshmen, who are documenting it. Yeah, it was a little, it was definitely challenging from a directing standpoint, not to get too technical about it. The weird thing was that it's all found footage in essence, right. but it, it's found footage from three cameras. So it's not like Blair Witch where it's like one guy doing this, because they're, they're intentionally shooting a movie. Right. But I, as a director, never had my own camera. So every shot, as you're saying, we had to kind of justify. You know, oh, okay. There's where these cameras. We also had to block the cameras in a weird way. So it was. I think it might be what what shooting a sitcom is like. Although I've never directed multi-camera, but I think it's kind of like that. But literally, we had to do things where so, sometimes you know characters would walk through the shot, and you know, it was sort of this in, intentional way to make things. If you want something to look unprofessional, I'm your guy. So, but it was very calculated to to look, you know. Very kind of rough. Yeah, you think it'd be so easier, but it's probably even harder to do it this way. Yeah, so it, it, well, it's like a puzzle that you have to kind of figure out. So, but it, it, again, it, the, the bulk of it was just the, the cast is, is so good that yeah. I, I have very little to do with it, honestly. They're, they're just so strong, these kids, and, and you let them, like that line, uh, one of the funniest lines in the movie is that little thing of, uh, oh, it was a bloated Jason Mraz, that was ad lit by this kid, Michael Roman, and these, they're all Arthur, who Arthur has Meyer. graced this very couch, is yep. just one of the funniest guys ever. He's you know? great, he's, he's, in, he's in a sketch, but we had him on the show uh, back in June. Yeah, and he's a man, so literally, just, you know, you put a camera on him, and you're like, yeah. I'm directing, exactly. <laughs> you're funny. But also, there are a lot of themes you're exploring in this. I mean, there's the economic depression and, and, and joblessness, you know, the concept of fame and being famous. Um, and then there's this underlying conceit that, you know, making a movie is fairly easy these days with the technology and the editing software. But really, it, you got to have talent, you got to have ability. And it's, what was the message you were trying to convey with the mission statement of the film? Well, all, many of those things you're talking about, I mean, ultimately, it's, we found it very, you know, my partner John and I, we always wanted to, uh, just for the record, writing partner, I'm married with three kids. <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, I'm just saying. No problem with uh, <laughs> um, we, we always wanted to do a coming of age story, and we thought, you know, that we couldn't find a way into one. And, and this seemed interesting the idea of kids making a coming of age movie by accident, you know, they're not trying to make it. And, and we thought, you know, in today's world, anybody can make a movie. You know, the, the, my kids shoot home videos and they're cutting on Final Cut. It's the same stuff I used to cut this movie, the same stuff we used in the Letterman show, that's, you know, that's the world we're in. 
But just because you can do it doesn't necessarily mean you should be doing it. Right. My kids should be, because they'll watch this. You guys are awesome. Uh, go to bed. Oh, that makes no sense. Uh, I love having the Academy Awards. It's always like, you go to bed. Yeah. Uh, this is close to somebody getting to the Academy Awards. I want to use my Academy Awards speech right here.